she is nice. <laughs> she is nice. Down to the beat, y'all. We get down, down to the beat, y'all. We get down to the beat, y'all. It's like we're not going anywhere. Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Honey Bloom. If you are new, welcome. Give this video a thumbs up, a like, and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. Because you don't want to miss any of my videos. Okay, you guys. So, let's get straight into this wig review, okay? Say, so now that I got my makeup done, now that I got my hair twisted, I'm going to try on this wig and I want you to tell me whether or not you love it, you hate it, and whether or not you will buy it yourself and wear it, okay? Okay, you guys. So, before I try on this wig, I'm going to put on my wig cap and I'm going to show you what the wig look like outside of the pack. And before I put on my caps, I prefer to spray my hair with like some, a little bit of water and conditioner to make sure my hair stay moisturized up under my wig. Cause you gotta make sure you take care of your hair up under your wig, okay? That's how your hair grow. Now I'm gonna spray my hair with like a little bit of spray all around my hair. Keep spray, 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 spray. Make sure the water is all the way through. And make sure I put my cap on so my hair is flat. Okay. And I didn't have a tan uh, wig cap, so I'm just going to have to work with this black one today. So, But, come on, damn it. See, now I got to tuck my hair in the back. Do you prefer to keep your hair like braided or do you prefer to keep it twisted? Because I prefer to keep mine twisted because it's easier for me to take down versus if it's like braided. And most of the time I had the time to be braiding my hair, so I prefer to keep it twisted. Okay, now that I got my wig cap on, I'm going to show you guys what the wig look like outside of the pack, okay? So this is her. <laughs> do you see that? And can you tell where I got my makeup inspiration from? <laughs> it came from this wig. You see how she got some nice curls? And curls are beautiful. Okay, you guys. So, I'm going to put the wig on as is. And see how it look, okay? And then I'm probably going to get... I'm probably going to uh, fix the wig off camera. I don't want to fix it on camera because if I fix it on camera and it come out wrong, I'm probably going to be pissed. So, But this is how the wig looks, okay? And as you can see, it got like a lace parting. You see that? And make sure uh, after you cut your lace, make sure you uh, blend in your parting space. With like a little bit of concealer or foundation that match your skin tone. But this is how she looks. I just plopped her on, you know. I don't know whether or not I would rather have her in the middle or rather or not I would have her on the side. I might have her like on the side part. I don't know whether I'm going to have her this way. She looking all kinds of crazy, but you know, it's okay because I'm going to take her off of camera. I'm going to take it off and I'm going to fix it off camera. Then I'm going to come back. I'm probably going to have her come this way. Oh, and she has some baby hairs somewhere around here, I think. I don't know. I'm going to have to look. But this is how she looks. <laughs> okay, I ain't do nothing to her yet. But, and you have to cut this lace part in. And I don't cut my lace while it's on my head. I like to take my wig off, put it on my wig. On my wig mannequin, my wig head mannequin, whatever you call it. And then I like to cut my lace. Okay, so I'm going to be right back, okay? Okay, you guys, so I'm finally back and I finally got the wig together. Okay, now I will say, baby, it was so hard for me to blend the part in space, okay? And it was, it was like, it's like, let me show y'all, let me show y'all. It's like, even though it look 
pretty good. It did take me a while to customize the part and to cut off the lace correctly. Ooh, yeah. It's 100 degrees, okay? And I ain't talking about my hair and makeup. But now that I got my wig together, I will say that I really do love, like, the color. Do you, do you see this color? Okay. Do you see how nicely this wig is blended? Okay. Now, I will say that this is not a jump and go wig. Okay. And me, I can only do the bare minimum if my personal stylist is not here. My sister. Okay. <laughs> but I will say I was able to manage this wig on my own and I did get it together. The curls were easy to put back into place. Like... But I will say that um, it did take me a minute to like get this hump part together and I did not use a flat iron. So I will say that this this wig is easy to put the curls back in place and to style it without flat ironing. And this is heat safe, just so you know, up to 400, okay? Anything above that, you may burn it because this is synthetic, okay? Now let me show you guys the stock card. You see that? And you guys tell me, do this wig look exactly like the stock card do it look exactly like the stock card i think so oh and the wig i'm wearing today her name is called davida and i'm wearing the color okay let me see what color i'm wearing i'm wearing drff red velvet okay so let me know in the comments below whether or not you love this color <laughs> Because I love this color. And if you don't like this color and you do want to try a different color, it comes in nine other colors. So, if you don't like this wig, try it in a different color. But I wouldn't get black because, you know, when you wear color, you have so much more fun. Okay? <laughs> now, on the stock card, it says this wig is a five-inch Swiss lace parting. It got an L parting space, you know. Like you can see right here. And it says it has pre-plucked natural baby hairs. But honestly, when I wear my wigs, I don't like baby hairs. I don't. And it says it has an HD transparent lace. Now, I will say the lace is, it's real nice. I will say the lace is real nice. It really is nice. Even though I still feel like you can still kind of see the little dots right there. But you have to like be all up on somebody like you have to be like really really close and let me show me this is how the wig looks up under here it don't look bad at all and i had used my la pro girl concealer in the shade uh chestnut let me fix my eyebrow you know i gotta keep them on fleek and i had used a little bit of my contour which is my morphe uh I had used my Morphe uh, powder contour to uh, shade in my part, like around here a little bit. Oh my gosh, it's so hot. Now, uh, I will say that even though this is not a jump and go wig, I really do love this wig. And I feel like you should try it too, okay? Because the way these curls look, like why would you not buy this? Why would you not buy this? Like, I probably would even wear this to work and not care. I probably will wear this to work and not care. You know, even though this is like a really, really fun wig, you know. And I really do love the color. Like, it's like, I like how the roots is like, start off like black. And then it has like a little bit of bur burgundy and red. Like, I really like how they blended this wig. Like, she is nice. <laughs> she is nice. But you let me know in the comments below whether or not, you know, you like her. Would you wear her? Do you love her? Or do you hate her? Okay? Let me make sure I uh, told you everything. Remember that the name of this wig is Davida and the color that I'm wearing is RRF Red Velvet. I got it right. Yay! <laughs> and uh, it's a lace front wig. It is synthetic. It's heat safe for up to 400. It also has... Two cones in the front and one in the back. And it do have adjustable straps, okay? Now, I will say that this wig is or it could be big head friendly. Like, I don't know. I kind of feel like my head is kind of small. 
but I do think this wig is big head friendly. Hey you guys, so I'm gonna wrap this video up by saying that this wig is not too thick, it's not too thin, it has just the right amount of hair. The color is bomb. Get you this wig. And I will also add that this wig does shed a little bit, but it's it's not that bad. I would probably say that it did mm, it probably shed it because I had to customize it. But other than that, this wig is a go, okay? Let me know in the comments below how you like this wig. Don't be shady, okay? You can like this video and subscribe to my channel, okay? And hit that notification bell so you don't miss none of my videos, okay? Thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs>